Team coverage tonight. Smoke from nearby wildfires continues to fill our air in the foothills and the valley floor. Local air officials have issued a health warning for unhealthy conditions through the weekend. Those with chronic conditions, the elderly and children are more at risk, but everyone is urged to avoid being outdoors when possible. We have team coverage tonight. AJ Fox is in the weather lab, but we begin with Raquel Cervantes live in Fresno with some tips on how to deal with the bad air. Raquel? Jessica, well, we have the mountains in the distance, but it's hard to even see them because of all of this haze. So to uh First and foremost, do you want to avoid being outdoors if you don't need to be and you also want to keep hydrated because keeping hydrated will actually help your respiratory system. As smoke from wildfires fill the air in the mountain communities, the particles carry over to the valley floor. Those with respiratory illnesses are feeling the effects, chest pains, wheezing, and coughing. Dr. A.M. Aminian explains that people breathe in the particles in the air, irritating the eyes, sinuses, and lungs. They really irritate the lungs, so you feel very uh, tight in the chest, you get short of breath and uh, you have difficulty breathing. The smoke is making a bad air situation in the Central Valley even worse. Nunu Sixay with the Central California Asthma Collaborative says it's not just affecting those with chronic conditions. Everyone is basically, uh, you know, suffering from the air, bad air quality, not just the ones that are uh, sensitive. Throughout the year, she educates local schools and communities about the daily air quality and its effects on our health. During health advisories, experts say people should avoid being outdoors when they don't need to be. Prevention is key, and Dr. Aminian says using a mask can help. When these particles go up the nose, on the eyes, we need to get them out. So they won't stay there to cause irritation and problem. He suggests using a nasal rinse to rid yourself of the harmful particles. You make your own salt solution, and you just get everything out, and don't let it stay there. Before you head outdoors, make sure to keep hydrated throughout the day. Dr. Aminian says being dehydrated affects your entire respiratory system. Doctors also suggest that at the end of the day, you wash off your skin and your hair so that you don't go to sleep and end up breathing in all those harmful particles. Live in Fresno, Raquel Cervantes, KC24, Local News That Matters.